Lastly, a bit of a tricky one to finish off with. Where to start? Well, the two functional groups, the ketone and the amine, are both on the ring. And there's also a double bond in the ring, making it an alkene. So that means the ring is going to be classified as the main chain. Now, out of our three functional groups, the ketone has the highest priority. The ring is six carbons long, and with a double bond, we would call that cyclohexene. But with the ketone group, it becomes cyclohexenone. Now, everything else is named as a substituent. First, we need to work out which way round the ring will go with our numbering. We start at the ketone, since it's the priority functional group. If we number clockwise, then we'll get the amine on number two, the propyl on number four, and the alkene starts on number five. So that gives us two, four, five. If we go anti-clockwise, then we get the alkene on two, the propyl on four, and the amine on six. So two, four, six. So the first option, two, four, five, wins, lower numbers overall. So the final name is going to be 2-amino. Remember the amine group, when it's not the priority functional group, will be named as a substituent. 2-amino, 4-propyl, cyclohex, 5 -ene We don't have to specify that the ketone's on carbon number one, since it is the priority functional group and it's in a ring, so it has to be number one.